Lena Bergston is um, working at the National Mapping Authority for Sweden. So we're going to jump away from Australasia and go to the other side of the globe for once. Um, as a technical surveyor uh, there, she's dealing with and working with spatial data infrastructure, um, information architecture, and uh, standardisation issues. And um, Lena has been part of the ISO TC211 standardisation for, for more than a decade, more than 10 years. So please welcome Lena. So I'm going to tell about uh, something we work with in Sweden to manage documentation together with our models and to bring it out on a single source publishing together with Enterprise Architect. And uh, we call it a unified product documentation because it's for aggregated and unified information. And the customers is, of course, in the focus for this. It should be easier for the customers. And it's all about all our content, both the data and the products. Because the documentation by now is quite sprinkly within Lantmeteriet, where I worked. And the documentation for the data and for the storage and for the suppliers on the web page and in the metadata, it's not the same. We have different writings everywhere. So we want to unify it. We Every people doesn't talk the same language, of course, you know, about the problems. <laughs> the communication is needed to be clear, the documentation. And uh, on the upper level here we have how data goes. We have the collection and we put it, of course, in our storage and go for the external part as a geodata product. And all along the way, we put in metadata. And on the lower level, we have all different kinds of specification that we use. We have collection instructions, and then we have different kind of models. We have IEM, so we had exchange models, both for, for collecting data, from a, or also for the suppliers at the end for the interface. And we also have our own storage model, how to use, our, how to put our basic data in the databases. And before we uh, supply the data, we also put the, all our basic data in, an, in a compiled data to make it more sufficient for supply to the, for delivery. And this work. Um, all the specification, of course, is based on the data product specification, the ISO standard. And we also in Sweden have a guidance for, for this, how to work with it. And is that guidance has also been uh, translated into English, so if you're interested. But this work is mostly about how, to, how we do it on the external side. Um, we are talking about product specifications, and that means how, how, pro, how the data is packaged into the final geodata product. And the product description is a more technical detail, how the data actually is delivered. So it's, we're bo both interested, both for the end users and for the developers, and who is going to implement it. So then we want to have one source for all information. And how do we do that? We have uh, our models in the enterprise architect. And that's all. Yeah, I think most of you know something about that, at least working in standardization area. And as for the documentation part, we have an, a software called Flare. It's from the MADCAP. And we, we want to have that as a master for all information. And we also take some um, 
your eyes and put from the IT, your eyes put into the master documentation. And from there, we, we managed to put some on the ex external HTML document together with the models coming from the enterprise architect. And that one isn't the uh, enterprise on, on web that's not really um, automatic by now, so we have to deal with that by a bit. But the, so the objective to, for this is to have an external information, and we can use it both on computers and tablets, cell phones and also PDF, as you wish to have it. And um, it's also possible to take out some Word document here, and that, but the, we use that only for internal use, because the Flare software, it's not for everyone to work within. So if we have persons with inside house, we can use a Word document for management uh, textual content. And we also want to, in future, use the XML directly so we can put it on the meta for the metadata on the geodata portal. Mm. And this is how we managed to do this within the flare. We mark the text with different colors depending on what, what we're going to use the text description for. So some text is just for example, product specification or, or some text are using for both specification and descriptions. So this is our master data. So, and uh, this is not a live demo, but I tried to make some <laughs> slides about it. Uh, and of course it's in Swedish, because it's just a prototype. And we have, a, a short, you see, yes, uh, we have documentation from the Landmeteriet, and over up here we have different kinds. There's a cadastral information or geographical information we can choose between. And down here we have different kind of services, it's direct access services, download services, and viewing services, and also different kind of uh, agreement you have on how, how you're supposed to capture the data. If you go for the cadastral information, we use address. Can you go for addresses? And then we have some information about what is an address. This is Swedish, so you don't <laughs> understand, but <laughs> you see the idea. It was, this is what we're going to make it look like. And if we go for the, one of the services, the direct access services, then you can see here it's a lot of you don't, maybe you can understand some, because product description, a technical descriptions, and UML diagram, and product specification, and other kinds of how to order, and what um, terms and fees will be. So it's a lot of, so if you go for the product description, you have a more detailed information about, and then we also have an, um, about the content here, you see how the data uh, content and the structure for data, what kind of reference system, quality, which kind of metadata, and things like that. So it's this is a long uh, kind of document. And we also can, for, for the services, we also have the information about the services, and we see the UML diagram and more is the URIs for using, so you, when you want to use this service, it's, you have your order information here. Yeah, I think that was my last slide. Yeah, I'm not the one really working with this, so I have my colleagues, they're really eager if you have some questions or if you want to do some input <laughs> for this, because they, they haven't, they don't know anyone working with this flare. Uh, software, so they, do you just come to me or just take contact with these guys? Yeah?